first of all you need to go on google play console in google play console if you have not paid the fees then you need to pay the fee of 25 dollar once you paid the fee now you can able to upload the application over here here you can click on create application wherever you click on create application you need to provide the title over here here i'm just providing the title so what i'm opening say i'm just opening the notepad plus here in notepad plus plus i uh, already defined my title and that title is dr paraksi shukla this is the application that i want to upload uh, let me show you the application that uh, application already i shown to some uh, few people who joined before so i'm just copying this dr paraksi shukla and you can paste over here this is the title this type of application is not available on google play yet right so uh, whenever you write like this uh, whenever you provide the title now you need to provide the short description the question can be asked what are the parameter is required in uploading an, an android app on google play so short description is required over here so i have already short description this application is developed to show the credential and achievement of my right that is a personalization application my own achievement and credential full description is required so i have copied my full description this is the description i am generally using everywhere so this is the application to develop just show the credential i parak shukla passionate about teaching and learning and so on you can just write like this right now you need to add here two uh, icon one is the 512 by 512 icon that is high resolution icon uh, please pay attention over here this is the part of store listing there are basically five categories you need to submit one is app release here you need to submit your apk file or bundle file this is the store listing where you need to uh, write about your short description long description full description and high resolution icon you need to provide over here so i have already one uh, high resolution icon high resolution icon size is fixed it must be 512 by 512 so you can see details over here see it is 512 by 512 pixels so you can move to your here uh, this console and see it is allowed see high resolution icon now see once you define your high resolution icon that is 512 by 512 now you need to upload one more icon that is for banner right uh, here you need to define the screenshot so so this is my application here you can take the screenshot see this is the first screenshot so way uh, this is the way you can take the multiple screenshot i have already taken the screenshot all the screenshots are available over here android image for store listing see this is the first image let me add another image this is the image number for example 3 then i want to add this one that is image 4 then i want to add the ratings of students then i want to add rating of parth swadas you can add eight screenshot over here i am adding image 7 also image 8 see so these are the screenshot that can be used to show in a store listing in google play right uh, now compulsory you need to define the banner graphic that is for size 1024 by 500 so you can uh, select your banner graphic it is also i uh, defined see this is banner image uh, it is required to be size of 1024 by 500 see here right 1024 by 500 so i am uh, adding this also so once my feature graphic is also defined over here feature graphic is also defined over here promo video if you want to use uh, if you want to add so you can just add the youtube video url over here it is optional if you don't want to add over here you can uh, remove uh, you can optionally you can skip it now here application type what kind of application it is it is game or application it is application right here you can choose the category it is a business application 
educational application communication application what kind of application it is it is my personalized application what is the meaning of personalization personalization means it is my own requirement and based on my own requirement i am developing this application so it is not a uh, interrelated with any other application it is my own requirement my own credential and I, that i am showing over here once it is done now you can uh, click on content writing see you need to do uh, uh, perform the content writing also but right now i want to take a pause over here i want to just save my draft here you can click on see store listings here you can check see store listing is not over yet before this you need to upload your apk file so first question is sir how to generate the apk or bundle file so very simple you can move to your android here this is my application this is my running application you can just click on build then you can click on generate signed bundle apk now there are two varieties over here before two years only apk option was available but right now there are two option are there one is app bundle and another is apk Android is recommending that Google is recommending that you upload your bundle file not APK file why because bundle file having these three advantage smaller download size on demand app features asset only modules so you can uh, click on Android app bundle instead of APK just to choose this that is Android app bundle and click on next now you need to uh, path you need to provide the key store path so I'm just creating the new path where you want to create this. So I'm just uh, saving all this in my users Parag and here in desktop I want to uh, perform all these things. So in desktop there is one folder related to upload Android app and here I want to save in upload Android app I want to save my PCS dot key store file right here you can provide the password i'm just defining the password over here minimum eight digit password is required over here i'm just passing the password over here once it is done you need to pass password again now who is the creator of this application so you you need to just provide the certificate Dr. Parag Shukla is the creator, uh, name of the developer. Which is the organization unit? MCA. Organization Atmir. City Rajkot. State Gujarat. Country code 91 for India. Then you can click on OK. Once it is done, you can click on Next. Now what it asking? See, what you want to do? you want to generate a signed bundle or apk what you want you want to live debug it is for debug version it is for release version it is for staging version for which purpose you want to do this it is my live release version it means uh, i want to directly upload i already tested everything so i want to just click on live release and then you can click on finish whenever you click on finish it will take some time and it will generate your release version bundle file into destination folder. And click on content rating. You need to provide the content rating also. Self questionnaire you need to submit, right? But before this, what you need to do? See, you must upload an APK before taking the content rating questionnaire this is the reason why i move to my android and i generate i tried to generate my bundle file once your generation of the live release file is generated then and then you can able to perform the content rating rating over here so before this before finishing this store listing you need to move to see what we did uh, till in last 15 minutes this is the title this is the short description full description uh, my resolution icon my images then feature graphic what kind of application it is and then uh, you need to provide the website also if it is available right it is optional it is not compulsory email is 
compulsory. So I'm just providing here my website URL that is paragshukla.com, right? Email paragshukla007 at the red. Click on save draft. Once you click on save draft, here you can check see. One checklist is done. That is a store listing. One checklist is done. Then and then you can move ahead. Yes, it is generated. See, Gradle generate signed bundle is successfully generated with one build variant. You can click on locate. Whenever you click on locate, it will move to the folder where your live release file is generated. It is available in my PCS application app live release. This is release version. It is about 23 MB of application, right? Application size is 23 MB. I'm just uh, copying this path. You can copy this path and now you can come to your app release over here. This is the first task. You need to upload your application, right? Now you can just move to here. There are so many options. See alpha, beta, production uh, as a Sracer explained you very well that uh, before release you can test your application, right? So I'm just uh, uh, but my application is already tested. So I'm just moving to production. So you can click on manage. But here I'm using the production. Why? Because I want to live my application. So you can just click on production. Here now you can click on create release. Whenever you click on create release, it will ask you for two options. One is continue and another one is the optional opt out. You can click on continue. Whenever you click on continue, it will asking for bundle or APK file. See here, either bundle or APK file you need to upload. You can click on browse files. The file already I generated. It is available in release A, B. 7 file 2020 to right so before two minutes my release file is already uh, generated by my android studio it will be uploaded depending upon your internet speed it will be uploaded see once it is it gets to 100 percent you can move ahead here you can just define your name of release i'm just giving the name of my release is it is first version you can say right uh, Whatever the language if you want to use, you can use over here. It is also your optional part. Once your bundle file is uploaded over here, it will take some time to processing also. Once it is uploaded, your app release option will be tick marked. Once your app release version, uh, this option is tick marked. Now we need to move towards the content rating, right? So we need to wait till my app release bundle file is uploaded to the Google server. <coughs> See, upload is successful. Once my upload is successful, you can click on save. Whenever I click on save, this app release tick mark will be green. See, you can check. See, right? So two option out of five is already done. Now we need to click on content rating. We need to provide the content rating. So it's a questionnaire. It will ask you the question. Uh, is this application is uh, developed for the children or not? So here you need to provide the email address. I'm just providing the email address. That is uh, my own email, email address. Once you provide the, your email address, then you can click on which type of application it is. Social networking application, reference, news or educational content aggregator, consumer, game, entertainment, what kind of it is, right? So it's a simple reference. Uh, can this app contain any violent material? No. This content any material that is not feasible? No. That contain any potential offensive language? No. Is controlling anything? No. Is this application? Is interact or exchange content with other user through voice communication? No. It is simple app that no uh, that not harmful to anybody. Does the app this share the user content physical location? No, I am not trusting any location. Does this app, app allows user to purchase digital goods? No. Then you can click on save questionnaire. What happened to me uh, first time when I was uploading my Android app? I was just click on this save questionnaire. Then I was waiting for the approval from the 
Google Play. But you need to calculate the rating also. So you just need to click on calculate rating. Whenever you click on calculate rating, what happens see? It, it says you that in Brazil, your application is allowed in all pages. In North America, it is applicable to everyone. In European, 3 plus uh, users, IRC, rest of the world, 3 plus users, age, can access your application. You can click on apply rating. Whenever I click on apply rating, what happens? See, content rating will be green mark. So you can just click on apply rating. See, see content rating is also done. Now, 2 out of 5 option is remain over here. One is app content. You need to click on app content. See, now you need to provide the privacy policy to store in the, uh, to, to your store listing, right? So, privacy policy you need to provide over here, app access, target audience, everything you need to provide over here. So I'm just clicking on, see this is the new thing. So you need, just need to click on start privacy policy to your store, store listing, right? Privacy policy URL you need to provide over here. Uh, what kind of privacy policy you are using in your application, right? So you need to uh, move to any privacy policy URL. You, you need to generate also. So I'm just doing what, see, I'm just moving to my blogger, Parag Shukla. In my blogger, there is a one website that is DBMS2. Earlier, I created the privacy policy over here. See this. This is my privacy policy. Earlier, I did this. Right? This my application is not collecting any data. It is not uh, uh, providing any. Uh, it is not doing anything. It is not generating any session. It is not uh, storing the cookies. Right? You need to provide your information over here. I'm just copying this. Right? And you can provide your privacy policy URL over here. Then you can click on save. Now your app content is done. Privacy policy. Once your privacy policy is done, generally I am not adding any advertisement in my any application. Why? Because I am not doing this uploading application to earn money. I am just showing to uh, how to upload the Android app on Google Play. So I am not adding any advertisement. But you can click on start. And uh, you can click on yes my uh, app contains the ads or not. Yes it is not containing uh, advertisement so you can click on no. It is not containing any ads. If it contains the ads, then you can click on yes and then you need to request for the advertisement also. Once these two are done, now you need to define your target audience.
in content i define the target audience i uh, given the my policy privacy url i define the and anybody can download it without any special access once i want to take your questions this page now you can click on manage then you can click on edit release the file is already there then you can click on review because before uploading to the android play store you need to review your app before confirming so you before confirmation you need to perform the rollout to your production that is your first version right uh, no data no installation any uh, previous services there android app bundle in this and then you can click on start rollout to production yes confirm whenever you click on confirm what happens see it is starting rollout my application again now this application see yes see pending publication see what andro uh, what google play console has suggest see due to adjusted work schedule at this time we are currently experiencing longer than usual review time generally uh, what happens uh, within one day or within 7 or 8 hours they are up uploading our application on google play store but uh, right now they are taking usually 7 days see please expect review time of 7 days or longer so after 7 days or within 7 days they will give me a mail your application is live or not if 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 some uh, settings is not proper then they will send me a mail also that your ap application need to do all these things तो जो कहीं चेन्ज करवा हे एना मैंने चेन्ज करवा कहसे जो नहीं चेन्ज करवा हो तो मेरी एप्लिकेशन लाइव थी जैसे जनरली एक दिवस में लाइव थी जती हुए पर आ लोग एवं कहे कि अठवाडियु थे राइट सो प्लीज एक्सपेक्ट रिव्यू टाइम ऑफ सेवन डेज ओर लॉन्गर मै धीस एप्लिकेशन इज सबमिटेड सो यू केन जस्ट चेक ओवर हियर सी डॉक्टर पराग सी शुक्ला पेन्डिंग पब्लिकेशन इट मीन्स दिस इज पेन्डिंग फ्रॉम गूगल साइट सो गूगल विल Uh, approve once google is approved this application in you know, play store this application will be live 